Um, good day everyone, we're the section 2C, group 4. We're here today to, to discuss you about the history and development of volleyball that the topic was assigned to our group. Uh, good day everyone, I'm Wilson Villaluna Pastrana and I will discuss the chapter 1, uh, brief history, uh, nature, and development uh, of volleyball. Uh, lesson 1, brief history of the, uh, of the game volleyball. One of the few sports that uh, originated in the United States uh, in the game volleyball, this was invented in 1895 by William C. Morgan, a uh, YMCA director in Holyoke, Massachusetts, uh, which is uh, initially called uh, uh, Mentonet, in, a, in an attempt to meet the needs of local uh, businessmen who found the game of basketball to be uh, strenuous. Once the, uh, one of the object, uh, objectives of the game is it's to provide an a indoor game uh, to be played during the cold winter in the northeast uh, state of the country. The new game uh, caught on uh, quickly because it's required only few uh, basic uh, skills, easily uh, mastered in limited uh, practice time, and play, uh, players of uh, varying uh, fitness level. The, origi uh, the original game uh, was played with uh, rubber uh, bladder uh, from uh, basketball. Early rules uh, allowed any number of players on the side. Uh, in uh, 1896, the name was changed uh, by Alfred Halstead, who after uh, viewing a uh, game uh, felt volleyball would be a uh, more suitable name due to the bowling characteristic, uh, characteristic of play, uh, Biela and uh, Ferguson, 1989. Among the uh, developments uh, are the contribution of the Filipinos who are uh, credited with uh, eating the set and spike in the game and uh, the Japanese aided the sport to the Olympic Games program in uh, 1964. This contribution uh, uh, this contributed uh, to the past growth of volleyball in the last three decades. The game was introduced to, be, uh, to the Philippines in 1910 uh, by the physical director of the YMCA. Elwood is uh, brown uh, to Japan in 1913, uh, to Portland, uh, Poland in 1915, to Uruguay in 16, uh, to Brazil and uh, Latvia in 1912, and to uh, Syria in 1922. After the, uh, the World War I, uh, it was introduced uh, throughout Europe. Uh, while the game, uh, uh, volleyball is most pop uh, popular among the middle art group, it is quickly a attracting uh, fouling among the young. Uh, during the last uh, 10 years, uh, youth volleyball has gained uh, tremendous uh, popularity and it is one of the fastest uh, growing sports among uh, young Filipino students. Uh, Inter-scholaristic uh, uh, volleyball has become a popular sports uh, for both male and female in the country. Uh, the existence of uh, of uh, uh, the uh, league, an open uh, conference uh, volleyball uh, tournament, uh, pro proves to its popularity uh, in the uh, amateur uh, league. Uh, let's proceed to uh, lesson uh, lesson two. Uh, the uh, nature of the game volleyball. Uh, volleyball is one of the most successful and popular uh, competitive. Uh, and recreational sport in the world. Volleyball is a universal game easily adapted uh, to the needs and abilities of, of all participants. Volleyball appeals to people of all uh, age, different uh, levels of skills, uh, escapes uh, 1988.
The game volleyball is, is played uh, by two teams, each having two to six uh, players on the nine uh, uh, times, 18 meter court, uh, two courts uh, separated by a net. The primary objective of each uh, team is uh, to try to hit the ball uh, to the uh, uh, opponent's sides in just a manner uh, as to prevent the opponent from uh, returning the ball. Among the six players uh, on the side, uh, three are called uh, forward and three are called uh, box. Uh, the three players in the front uh, of the net uh, are called the front row. Players uh, can uh, occupy a position uh, uh, four, uh, front left, position five, uh, back left, and six is back assembly, uh, uh, one back right. Player need uh, to be uh, in the correct uh, regional uh, position until the serve is uh, executed. After the serve, uh, players are allowed uh, to play in any position on or on the court uh, with one uh, restriction. Back row uh, players uh, cannot leave the floor uh, to, the, to hit the ball in front of the attack line. Uh, let's proceed uh, lesson three, uh, recent development volleyball. Uh, a new development of the game uh, concerns the introduction of uh, a libero player, meaning free in uh, uh, Italian. In the year uh, 1988, uh, the, the libero is uh, design, uh, designed a uh, designated uh, back row player uh, intended to be used as a ball control uh, specialist. Uh, EI Memorial uh, 2012. The, lib the libero allowed to replace uh, any player in the back row without counting as a as something social. There is uh, no limit uh, to the number of uh, libero replacement a team is allowed. The libero uniform must uh, contrast from the color of uh, the other teammates' uh, uniforms. The libero uh, may not uh, serve, attempt to block, uh, and attack from the, uh, from the uh, height of the net. In addition, uh, a teammate uh, may, uh, may not attack a ball that in is complete uh, leap above the height of the net of the air if the libero uh, set the ball from the uh, front of the uh, three meter line using an overhead set. The zone uh, today is a nine meter wide uh, area behind each end line. Uh, it is uh, literally uh, limited by two short lines and 15 uh, uh, centimeter long Drew 20 centimeter behind and like an ex uh, extension of the sidelines. In deep, uh, the service uh, zone extended uh, to the end of the pre zone. Uh, other, uh, other change were instituted to relax the calls on uh, faults for uh, lifting and double touch. This uh, allowed a single player uh, multiple contracts, uh, contacts on a team first contact. The rally points uh, scoring system is another uh, new development in the game. Uh, volleyball and the rules uh, to win a point, uh, a serving and a receiving team must win their rally. Uh, to win a set, uh, the team must uh, First score 25 points uh, with a minimum lead of uh, two points. Uh, in the case of uh, 24 uh, and 24 uh, tie, please continue until a uh, two points lead is achieved. Uh, the match is won by the team that wish uh, a wins uh, three sets. In the case of two by two tie uh, and uh, deciding set is played uh, two fifteen. Uh, points with a minimum lead of two points, and that's all. So good day, everyone. 
Um, this is the continuation of the report of Mr. Pastrana. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Maria Elizabeth Eshua. Chapter 2, which is preparing your body for, for valuable activity. First is the warm up activities. Our energy increasing that or muscle temperature in order to prepare the body and the mind to the intended valuable activities. So, when we do volleyball, we must do activities first. Para sa akin, para um, yung katawan natin mag... Para prepare yung katawan natin sa, sa gagawin natin ang um, laro. Set, second is volleyball specific warm-up. First is partner ball exchange exercises. Second, court perimeter exercise. Third, ball, ball slamming and bouncing exercise. Number one, when we say partner ball exchange exercise, um, if you are familiar the game, um, marathon race, something. <clears throat> Hawak mo yung bola, tapos um, nandito ka sa sa, um, sa dulo ng net, hawa mo yung bola, tatak mo ka, papunta doon sa kabilang linya, ililipat mo yung bola sa sa kasama mo, which is siya naman yung tatak mo, sunod papunta doon sa um, finish line. <clears throat> That was the partner ball exchange exercise. Second, court per per perimeter exercise. We start at the right back corner of the court and run to the net and medium back posture. When arriving at the net, use a slight step to move along the net, executing for block jumps at the left sideline, back, back pedal to the end line at the end of the line. Move to the starting position by using the cross step. Cross foot one front foot. Two, step with foot to and the direction are moving in the hotel to fix the position. So, ganito yung um, magiging position niya. Pagtatak mo ka sa kabila, uh, magpuntang net, cross one to the front, cross, um, ano ba? Cross your one foot to the, cross your one foot in front of, the, of your one leg. Another and continue hanggang makarating ka doon sa net na pupuntahan mo. Number three is, Ball slamming bouncing exercise. Dito sa number 3, volleyball specific warm up, kailangan mo ng kapares. Gita partner and have one ball for the three. Take this distance of approximately 10 feet away and facing your partner. With the ball held by both hands over your head, start bouncing it diagonally downwards towards, towards your partner. The partner touch the ball and then bounce it back. You follow me? The same procedure at the bouncing drill practices. You can split, increase the power slamming with the ball diagonally to the floor towards your partner's emphasizing height rather than distance. Kailangan ito ulitin ng five times. Sa so ball, number three naman, ball slamming bouncing exercise. Um, dalawa kayo magkapares, tapos yung bola, lilipat yung... Um, Pag, 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 sa, ano? Pagsasali sa limit niyo yung bola, which is parang naglalaro kayo yung dalawa. The, that was the third ball slamming bouncing exercise. Um, move on to volleyball specific warm up. Now, we will continue to the lesson two. The flexibility exercises. It is flexibility or stretching exercise should be performed before actual volleyball skill practice. Activities must be designed and selected to increase the range of motion or ROM of the body joints involved in the performance of volleyball skills. Dito naman sa flexibility exercises, it was the same with the specific warm up, warm up rather, which is it helps our body to how um, proper po posture. This is the flexibility exercises. First is shoulder stretch or rhomboids, deltoids. If you um, exercise the toys like that, um, um, cross your arm, gently pull your arm in front of your chest. Um, uh, Second is back and arm stretch, trace the that is most of the. Back and arm stretch. Third is calf stretch or gastrocnemius and deltoid. Um, assuming that my wall sa harap mo, tapos yung leg mo is um, straight your leg.
leg, one leg, and bend your another leg in front of you and um, arms forward. Then make sure you um, make sure you look at my straight. That was the half stretch and four quadricep stretch or quadriceps. Um, this is the common um, stretching na ginagawa ng mga player. Yung hahawakan mo yung paa mo and bend mo yung bend your foot and hold like this. Number five is inner thigh stretch or hip adductors. Sa hip adductors naman, um, medyo, may, medyo may pagkahirap siya kasi Number 5 is inner thigh stretch which is ganito um, Make sure na mag um, mag-dedicate yung dalawang leg mo then yung knee mo is um, make sure na malalapit sa floor Dapat dito is may pagkakapala sa mag maghahawang na dito. Number 6 is the same, pos same position lang din pero, pero forward yung isang leg mo like this. Number 6 is hamstring or hamstring stretch. Make sure na yung likod mo is straight then. And make sure na maabot mo yung dulo na paan. Number 7 is Last flexibility exercise is lower back and hip stretch or erector spine and gluteus. Pull each knee to your chest, separately then pull both knees to your chest and at the same position. Dito naman, nakahiga ka tapos um, yung leg mo iangat mo then yung knee mo aabotin ng um, siko mo. That was the same. That was the seven flexibility exercise. First is shoulder stretch. Second, bum and arm stretch. Third, calf stretch. Fourth is quadricep stretch. Five, inner thigh stretch. Six is hamstring stretch. Last is lower back and hip stretch. And that's all my report. Good day, everyone. I am Romina Mahatma Sarna, and I will discuss the chapter. Which is the basic band location and movement and quality. Yung quality ko meron po siya ng three mo movement patterns. Ito po yung high posture, medium posture, and low posture. Yung high posture po, ito po yung ginagamit kapag nagsiserve ng mula, kapag nagsiserve, saka with the player start, starting position for dami. Ito po, ito po yung high posture. Yan ito po. High posture. Then, yung medium posture naman. Medium posture. Ito yung pinaka important position sa ano, dog ng court. Um, Inagalan ito during the game. During the third position kapag mag-receive po ng third. Yung medium posture po yung inagalan sa position. Then, kapag overhead pass and the starting position for the fight. Ito na Ito naman po yung ano, yung yung booster. Ito po siya. Yan. Then last yung ano, low booster. The, the low booster is used during the ball mm -hmm. kapag kapag ito po talaga yung mag-receive ng bola, kailangan na sa low booster para po ma-receive ma siya ng maayos. Then ginagamit din po siya all forms of individual events such as the throw and the roll. Then next po ay yung ano. Reason 2. Movement pattern drills and exercise. Una po is yung mirror drill. Mirror drill, the leader stand is run easy to other players. All players are in medium, ay, are in the medium body posture. The leader moves forward, backward, left or right. Kung ano po yung ginagawa ng leader, yun po yung pagayari ng mga player. Ito po yung leader, yun ito yung left, tapos ito po yung mga player. Kasi mo ako mag-move backward, forward, left, or right. Yung leader, so yun po yung pagayari ng mga player. Tapos yung competency and level, which is the medium body posture for 51 to 60 seconds, yun po yung proficient level. Maintain the medium body posture for 40 to 49 seconds. Then po yung approaching proficiency level. Then maintain the medium body posture for 30 to 39 seconds. 
Then, pangalawa po ay ito, forward and backward trip. Ganito po yung uh, forward and backward trip. Uh, it stands in the major body water on the attack line facing the net with a stiff hook move forward. Forward, touch the center line with your foot and move back to the attack line. Uh, galing po dito yung mga player, tapos sila dito sa may center line, then move backward, magalit po na naman sila sa may attack line. Yung competency and level, competency ko sino, movement with the way you mind for the record side is given, proficient level, continuo, movement with the way you mind for the record side is given, Approaching proficiency, level, continuous, movement with the medium body posture for 10 seconds, beginning proficiency, level. Then, yung pangalaman ko is yung black and rose green. Yung black and rose green, it stands at the left and high body posture, your elbows bent and close to body, your hands in front of your shoulder, Jump, reach over the net, then quickly withdraw your hands, assisting to touch the net. Return to the floor and a low body posture. Sit and roll onto your back and quickly return to the starting position. Ganito po yung black and roll daily. Nasa mga mga players ay nandito sila sa may harap ng net, then naka high posture po sila na parang nag-a-attempt na mag-block. Tapos, dapat may hindi po din ang mata na yung net. Kapag ginagawa na tayo yung black and roll seal. Competency level, ito yung 8 to 10 to consecutive black and roll to be now touch. Touch with the net, proficient level. 5 to 7 to consecutive dance and roll to be now touch with the net. Approaching proficiency level. 5 to 4 to consecutive jump and roll to be now touch with the net. Beginning proficiency level. Then, yung last naman po is yung No floor set drill. Yung no floor set drill begins at the center of the court, facing the net in a low body posture. Your hands touching the floor, maintaining the low posture, slide to the right side, outside line, at the side line. Take a big shift to the side, sit on the floor, then stand and sit later to the start position. Repeat this movement to the knees. Continue this drill at the inning line. So, isa po magsisimula yung mga player, then pupunta po sila dito, tapos pupunta na naman dito, tapos pagkaroon po nila yun ang alternate. Tapos, competency and level, 5 floor seal and 30 seconds, proficient level. 4 floor seal and 30 seconds, approaching proficiency level. 3 floor seal and 30 seconds, beginning proficiency level. So, maalaga po na, anak po na mga player yung movement patterns, patterns na kayo, movement patterns, drills and exercises para po mas maging maganda po yung kanilang laro sa doon ng court. So, good day everyone. This is the continuation of the report. I will report you the chapter 4 of one of which is the base skills and body goals. So, the first base is lesson 1, which is Passing simply refers to the act of beating the ball to another teammate. The term, the term passing is used to denote the first contact of, of the team after the ball has crossed the net on, on serve or other type of team. The player who first contact the ball passes to a team, teammate it for a spike of two hit into the opponent's court. So, uh, uh, the first passing is the, ano, the, the forearm four pass. Uh, the forearm pass is uh, it's the first base volleyball pass. It's the basic, uh, basic volleyball pass in volleyball. It is sometimes referred to add the pass, it is used to receive to receive serves, receive spikes, making any ball at weight less level or lower, and play any ball that has gone to the net. Uh, 
the ball of your partner and so that it is directed over your partner's head. Your partner then retrieves the ball and the field continues. Uh, in the sense of one, uh, the drill passing is ball drill or partner pass drill. Uh, so passing and ball drill naman, uh, para sa ang drill na yung 40 meters, yung, yung pinakakaw uh, pinaka na mong partner, may partner ka, tapos pinakakaw tayo yung uh, pinakakaw yung bola, tapos ikaw pa para mo lang ganyan ng kamay mo. Uh, then paulit ulit kami ako lang sa mga sanay ka. Then, pag nabing naman ng partner pa sa drill, then dalawa kayo na 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 papalipalit na ginagamit nyo na yung uh, yung arm nyo, yung forearm nyo para para so, uh, transfer ng bola. And then, there uh, are the drill is the continuum blocking drill. Generally, the volleyball has under time of clear stuff and use for our pass quickly to keep the ball on the air. That was 8 to 10 feet high by using the left as a guide. It stays within 10 foot square space from the other one of a dream. A thousand is down in the town, it was shot.
Highlight ng uh, pakalaway para tumalaw ng mga pasyon ng maayos yung bola papunta sa kamay mo. Approximately 8, I used to 8 inches your thumb pointing towards your eyes. For a moment, go with your thumb and point your finger in such a manner to your finger. Are twice as, as far apart as your thumb. Watch the ball through these fingers or twice. Uh, it, it is extremely important to your shoulder to be positioned squarely toward the target. As the ball comes up your hand, your hands form to the shape of the ball with only the upper two joints with your finger on your touching. The ball has, as the ball comes your finger extends your arms and legs, transferring your height, your weight, and the intended direction to the pass. So, ang um, overhead, of overhead pass is, I make this to effective move. I make it na para maging effective. So, preparation phase, feet are a comfortable stretch position, body moves to the ball arm, and legs are slightly bent. Hands are held 6 to 8 inches above forehead. I follow the ball to the window for my fingers and thumb. Uh, execution between fingers and thumb contact ball. Ball is contacted on its lower back. Arms and legs extended forward with transfer towards the target. Follow through face, arms are full extended with hands pointing target and the target. Player moves in the direction to the pass. Okay, I'm going to be Overhead pattern is not as it is as effective na na pagpasan mo na para makabuwan ng kung 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 pagkakuha ng uh, pagka uh, parang execute ng mga yung uh, tawag dito yung uh, yung yung spike pa execute ng mga yung ng spider yung yung role niya bilang spider upang pagkakuha ng kumikos so detecting overhead pass errors the ball comes up your plans and this helps uh, the correction spread your fingers around them around the ball and contact with the ball with only the upper two joints of your fingers and thumbs the, the next error is the, the travel travels vertical instead of high and lower the target and uh, the error will cause difficulty that are playing the ball And then uh, the ball spins excessively. Uh, and then the next is step pass. The step pass is the overhead pass. The uh, step pass is the same uh, thing as the overhead pass. The uh, passing uh, using uh, fingers. The basic use to play. The ball has a position for the attack. The set is considered before our pass or back pass. The, the height of the set depends on the size of spike and target. So, yun yung, yung set pass is uh, nakadepende sa, sa desire ng spider. Kaya nga sabi ko, ang um, overhead pass at uh, ang set pass ay pasinita lang nila. Uh, using 
pinggir para para uh, uh, masets ng yung uh, player na masets ng bola uh, sa kabel ng kanyang den sa kanon. Minsan, ang ginagawa ng uh, ng ano, ng 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 nagsisip ay uh, akala na akala na kalaban pa harap yung set uh, para para sa akin ng bola yung bola ng tanto. Ganun. Depende yan sa sa contact ng ng fighter na ng pitcher. So important of the tip the tip determines where and how when the attack develops. Generally the tip designates one or two player to perform the tip it is extremely important that the player have understanding of ability in seizing the ball efficiently. How well the set and up the attacking teams ability to gain an advantage over the opponent. Ayan, ayan, uh, gaya na sabi ko na malaking advantage pag, uh, pag, pag super na nakakaintindihan yung yung spider at yung sister na oh, uh, sa isang tingin lang na bakit ang spider at yung tanong po tayong bola kung tanong po si Seth kaya uh, sa so, pang Seth um, mas nagkakaroon ng advantage at mas nagkakaroon ng possibility na malaking possibility na na makakuha ang agad ng konto sa isang serving na ng bola and how can I give you the Seth? The sister takes a position in the right side of the court, close to the left, and facing the left side line. The sister is executed in the same one, in the same manner as the overhead pass. The overhead pass is called set only when it's a second pick pass by your team. When you do the attack, you can set the ball to one tackle. It should be at least a ball of the net so that the attacker can see the ball high. And then, other are, you know, other are three kinds of set passes. And so, yeah, I got I outside and the I outside the quick and the back set. The I outside is the main when the left side of the court so that if the left alone, it would be dropped on the left side line. It is a step higher than the top of the net. In the high step, it is the responsibility of the attacker to go to the moment. The, uh, the back step means that it's traveling distance than the high outside and requires less height. So, I have to make a so, if you can see this one, it's a picture of this one. There's a picture of the left side of the left. There's a picture of the left side of the left. There's a picture of the high side of the left side. There's a picture of the left side of the left side. There's a picture of the left side of the left side. Uh, Pagalong, pwede yung patapag sa gilid. Then, ang sana naman sa quick step eh, yung uh, magkarapit lang sila ng uh, spider. The quick step is always set in relation to the sister. The sister set, the ball that is in front of himself for herself. And one that is higher than the top of the net. It is kind of said that the sister is responsible to set the ball accurately to the attacker. When the attacker approaches the front, the sister can jump as a before the sister contacts the ball. The box set performed with the same technique as the front five set, just that as the sister contacts the ball. The, the box is hard. And the ball is directed towards us. So overhead pass drill, uh, pass bounce, drill yung uh, the ball, and pass bounce, pass bounce, drill sa nami. Uh, yan, parang uh, may pass, 
যারা দিকের পার্টনার এই পার্টনারটা দেন দেন এই এই আপনি বল আমি কথা বলতে যাবেন যাদের আমি বলতে কল করতে চাই ওভার ওভার
tuloy na yung kadalatang kadalatang uh, pinapaktis upang ayun nga kayo bata yung mga gano'n uh, video. Depicting thinking errors, the ball goes into the net, uh, you are about uh, um, paghinig mo na napunta sa uh, goal uh, yung goal na sa uh, ano yung ano yung error na then the ball does not clear the block then you know you stop your approach and wait for the ball you come back the left and you hit the ball to high and you can say so don't to the ball I don't know uh, the last part uh, yung execution of the game hindi ko sabang malakas ang ganyan masyadong mahina uh, yung sakto lang siya lang uh, uh, mag-spike mag mo siya lang uh, para yung bang atang-takan lang din uh, magpupunta siya sa kung saan uh, area na wala nang mag-upunta sa bagong tayo uh, may brilliance of activities din ako uh, the drill requires a group of big players you as a tower starting at the attack line and others with the with us later and others can be different on the post a post the type of the set as a blocker so um um uh there is um nandati which is linked to tower so um uh, uh, from the theater Eh, tutot yung bola, pagpunta sa attacker sa yung bola sa yun Then, i-hit mo yung bola na uh, Sa lahat na dapat ay tumangot sa blocker Which is, eh, uh, padalagan yung pinapaktis uh, Before, uh, padalagan yung pinapaktis ng mga teams Like sa NCAA and CAD Ah, uh, uh, kung and another bit is the of speed spike the execution of, of speed spike is exactly the same as the rest of the day as the one top in the whole speed spike is with the pair of eye open and cutting the center back of the ball a contact here is not and your finger draw over top of the ball part is not top skin which is cross the ball drop and follow through the same as for the day so sa off speed sa off speed by command uh, uh, if you see your palm yung ito uh, yan uh, Ah, uh, sige, may para sa lens para maano nang mula sa pag uh, using this strategy. Then, ang pagtanong ng sa mga ito ay hindi siya gaano, hindi siya gaano malakas. Yung parang ni ni kung ano ka lang ng ah, uh, ng kabilang side ng mga wala nang para ikagalan mo lang. Then, doon sa kanya ko. So, it so effective for speed by preparation three. Quick one attack, watch the center. I come the ball on the left, wait for a while and take a push. Execution phase, we gain a push when the ball is as quick of its trajectory over the distance with a few steps. Last one is right and close with first step to jump both arms, swing back and at least. So let's set them. Both arms swing high toward the ball. Ah, uh, yun yung ang um, uh, perfect execution uh, uh, ng ng ah uh, ng uh, of uh, the of speed by the eh, eh, yung both arms mo ay high toward toward the ball to your palm. Then go to the ball in the front. So, we will show their contact center, back of ball, fingers roll over the top of ball, contact with one arm extension. Uh, follow three feet and follow ball 
provide the idea plan for both things. Well being, also you should know the excellent part. The kind of that, that, you know, that, the deep, na lava, na kumusak na, 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 the ball goes into the net and the ball does not clear the block. You stop your approach and wait for the ball to come up the net and you get the ball to hide and hit it to know to hit the ball. So, um, the three subjects in our own speed, five and six, all the same as previous years ago, your target will be. Ten foot square feet, five feet from the net. Make the target starting from the net from each side line. Uh, at the target, keep of speed five, five over the target and under the target from both the left and the right side of the line. Uh, we'll map uh, from the from the left the one. Then the last, uh, the last is the the hard driving fight. So uh, the hard driving fight in uh, this more successful successful hard driving fight. You need to concentrate on the area of performance, time of the approach, keeping the ball in the plan of your knee shoulder and force the ball is now to report the back speed to the ball. Due to the complexity of hard driving fight and consistent back speed process part of skills individually prior to putting them together. So you are driving fight uh into your pina uh type of parole to the pina bahana. Because uh sa uh, hard driving spike is the the whole uh, historical uh, contact of Peter between Peter and Spider, which is papaluhin na ang Spider na ang malakas yung bola hanggang sa magtumama sa bola din makasot na. A piece to effective hard driving spike preparation piece with all the clients watch the center, I pass the ball off the center, wait for a while and to be approached. Execution phase. Begin approach with the ball to the tip of the trajectory. Cover the stance with the steps. Last two steps, right then close, then the step to back. Both arms swinging forward. Contact ball in the front of the shoulder. Contact with the knee and back of the hand. Contact at the center back with sporting ball. This is not the contact. Before extension. <coughs> Final two feet, and follow uh, towards target. Last on, uh, last on both feet, basic and fusion landing. Depicting errors of spike of So, uh, and three naman sa sa hard, uh, hard, uh, hard driving spike is uh, you between the uh, 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 yung pader, so ang yung pader para uh, kasi hindi naman pwede isagawin ng kapo mo ng other player yung pan mo. Uh, Siyempre sa hard driving spike, uh, ito yung uh, pinakamalakas na pag pampalang ng bola. Uh, so, yun na po yung aking report sa, sa chapter 4, which is lesson 1 and lesson 2.
So good afternoon. So now I I continue to chapter four of uh so now I I continue about the existence of chapter four. So let's proceed about the three. So the block. So if you say the block, uh it's the first line of the defense against your opponent attack. So there 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 are two types of uh two types of block. So it is the single block and multiple block. So in a single block, only one player block at a time. So ito ay uh, isang ito ay ang ang block ay unang linya na pagdepensa laban dun sa pagatake ng ano ng ng iyong malaban. So kung pa tayo ilayo ang ilayo ni ng block ay ilayo ang isang bahagi ng iyong force mula sa mga malaban. So sa dalawang uh, sa dalawang block ay sa dalawang block na kung saan ito ay single block and multiple block. So, ito ay isang malalaman na kung saan malalaman lang ang umaharap sa bawat pagkakataon. So, now I'm going to say about how to execute a single block. So, as the blocker, begin by standing within one. One foot of the net facing the opposite court. So the cable set. Uh, we have uh, three cable set. Uh, three cable facing single dot. So it is a preparation phase and execution phase, and also follow through phase. So if it's a bit in a yung preparation phase, ah. Uh, ang nakapalag dito is uh, wait, wait at the net. So, dapat uh, kailangan uh, be ready ka to mag-display ka sa 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 pagpapag ng bola. So, and the net is what the, the opposing seeker. So, panoorin ang kalaban na seeker. So, After that, I focus on the posting attacker. And sa execution phase naman, jump immediately after attacker jump. And also, arm raise above the top, move next, and penetrate into opponent's court. And line up one half body with So attackers uh, hit inside and with two hands and land on the uh, on two feet. So this is the uh, follow through phase. Uh, may nakaparag dito na tatlo. Ito ay bend net. So you need to bend your net para mag prepare ka sa uh, mga kung saan Uh, yung pagdating ng bula ay eh, handa kang uh, sa luwe nito. So, ito ay and then turn away from net and block for ball. So, now, uh, how to execute multiple block? So, kanina, uh, mayroong uh, how, to uh, how to execute a single block. So, now, uh, how to execute multiple block? So, the execution of double and triple block is similar to the execution of the single block. So, the meaning of it is multiple single block and multiple block. I do one block and multiple block is ah, na ka na ka ay isa lang siya don sa na ka parang hindi siya don sa single block. So. Uh, this is a depicting blocking error. So, mayroong case na kung saan uh, uh, kapag hindi natin yung 
So the we are uh, so the answer is an answer answer. You can say the answer answer is the answer answer can be extremely effective at the beginning level. So any player can share the ball under under them. So alimbawa, di ba anin kay sa sa isang court, sa kada court. So hindi lang ikaw yung magserve yung yung gusto na magserve, which is ah uh, magtatamon kayo ng position para ah uh, lahat uh, magserve. So yun yung ah uh, ibig sabi ng stress na serve. So we have ah uh, they they are hard okay. So effective under hard serve. Which is ito yung uh, preparation, preparation phase, and execution phase, and also follow through phase. So now uh, let's proceed about serving drills. So the serving drills, uh, may nakapanood dito na tatlo. So ito ay ball toss drill and ball serve drill. Partner serve at the next drill. So number one, if we say ball toss drill, it is the play close uh, edge square, target on the on the court and front and it's likely to the center from your forward foot. So and number two, uh, if we say ball serve drill, uh, stand at the serving position, uh, approximately. Uh, 20 feet from a wall and on which is printed the line at the proper next time. So, in the last, uh, partner serve at the next grade. So, meaning you and your partner uh, should stand in the opposite, opposite side of the or uh, edge 20 feet from the then So, para ikaw at ang iyong mga, ang iyong mga rin ay uh, dapat na nakatayo at mag-aas mo kabilang dulo ng mga linya or line. So, sa bawa 20 feet from the net. So, that's all. Um, thank you so much. Good day everyone. I am Fletch Kundas. So, this is uh, chapter 5. And uh, the facility, uh, I, I will discuss the uh, chapter 5, which is uh, facilities and equipment in volleyball. So, the court, uh, here is the playing area, includes the playing court and the base zones. It shall be a rectangular and symmetrical court measuring uh, 18. Uh, then 18 and 9 meters surrounded by three zone which is a uh, minimum uh, of 3 meters wide and on all sides. The free playing space is the space above the playing area which is free from uh, obstructions. Uh, the free playing space shall measure a minimum of 7 meter in height from the playing surface and the net and net post so the net is the net uh, is placed vertically over the uh, sentry line whose top is set at the height of 2.43 meter from uh, 4 men and 2.24 for women a net is 1 meter wide and 9.52 meters long and long made of 10 centimeters square block mesh. The bottom uh, binding of the net will also be securely uh, anchored. This allows holes that are hit into the net to bounce up guard and remain in play. So, two wide. Uh, two white bands are um, fastened vertically to the net and placed directly above each sideline. They are 5 cm wide and 1 meter long. Uh, 
and are considered as part of the net. So the posts supporting the net are replaced are placed at a distance of 0 0.50 and uh, 0 0.50 and 1. Meter outside the segments, they are between 2.55 meter high and uh, prefer, prefer, preferably adjustable. And then the next one is a referee stand. So the referee stand is generally attached to one of the standards and allows the referee to stand about four feet above the floor level. From this uh, vantage point, the official can better see the play at the net and can tell net touching and illegal movements over or under the net. The next one is uh, the antenna. So, in official games, uh, team pole usually uh, fiberglass or any flexible root of 1.80 meter long and 10 meter in diameter is extended over the sideline from the top of the net to a level 3 feet above the net. So uh, the antennae are considered as part of the net and literally, laterally uh, delimit in the crossing space. So the ball, the next one is uh, the ball. Uh, the ball shall be uh, spherical, made of flexible leather or uh, synthetic leather. Leather case with a uh, leather inside made of rubber or similar material. Uh, its color may be uniform light or combinations uh, of balls used in international officials Competitions should comply with FIDP standards. So, the next one is uh, about clothing. So, for players who, uh, a player rather, with a player's equipment consists of a jersey, shirts, socks, and sports shoes. The color and design and the design for the jersey. Shorts and socks must be uniform for the team. Uh, the uniforms must be clean. The shoes must be light and with pliable with non marking rubber or composite uh, soles without heels. The last one is pads. For players who dive for balls, uh, Boot knee and below elbow pads may be worn. They may be worn. They reduce the chance of developing bone bruises or abrasions from contact with a football. That's all. So good day, everyone. My name is Jessica Patino, and uh, as a continuation of Chapter Five, I'm going to report uh, Chapter Six, which is terminology and rules of the game. So, SIDB, official volleyball rules for 2009-2012 is the latest reference for both athletes and coaches throughout the world. So, the following are the important rules extracted from uh, from the SIDB uh, on 2009-2012. So, USIDB is a federation internationally D volleyball for the English English is International Volleyball Federation. So first, uh, playing area. So the playing area is uh, dapat, um, playing area is rectangular shaft with the 18.5 uh, 18 height of 18.9 18 meters. So the wide of it is 3 meters all time. And the height is minimum 7 meters. So next is about net and post. So, um, yung net naman kapag ang um, ang height ng net is kapag kalala is 2.43 kapag kumabay naman is 2.24 meters. So the distance of the net is 0.50 or 1 meter 
kilometer outside of the sign line. Ajapa, uh, ang height ng net is 2.25 meters height and preferable and adjustable. And adjustable. So next is ball. Ball. So if it's yung ball sa kailangan sa vertical, made of uh, flexible leather, leather, ajapa yung sa loob ng ball ay dapat ay um, dapat made of rubber. So yung simple ng bola ay dapat 260 to 280 grams. So next naman is D. So yung isang team is nag-concept uh, nag 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 siya ng 12 players, 1 coach, 1 assistant coach, 1 medical doctor, at saka yung 12 players. So yung only 6 players lang yung pwede, siya, pwede sa loob ng court at, at yung iba naman, ay sa labas ng court. Next naman is team leader. Yung team leader is uh, the team captain, the coach, and the coach. So sila yung mga uh, uh, may, may mga responsable sa kanilang uh, team para i-disiplina ito. At saka yung, po, yung coach din siya yung uh, siya yung magsasalita sa referee or para ma uh, Siya yung may permiso magdamita sa referee para mag-permiso, uh, mag-hindi na permiso para mag-time out sa kanyang team. So yung letero naman, yung letero, siya yung may iba yung ano, yung, yung uniform. So it means, uh, hindi, yung uniform niya is hindi katulad ng iba, iba niyang team. And also yung, ang letero naman is, kaya niya, uh, yung letero is, pwede siya sa lahat ng, ano, ng pwesto at hindi, ah, uh, at kaya niya magulin yung bola, yun yung uh, libero. So next naman is scoring system. So sa scoring system naman is, yung volleyball is na meron siyang uh, four sets only, pero yung, uh, yung four sets na yun is only 25 points lang siya. Yung pangapat naman na set is only 15. But once yung, uh, but once yung, uh, habang naglalaro sila, once, uh, hindi naman natin siguro magpigilan na, yung magtatay magtay yung dalawang ano yung dalawang team so kapag magtay ang dalawa to to at saka to so may posibilidad na pag nilaban pa nila ng mga 5 sets na 15 points para malaman talaga kung sino yung nanalo so next is the toast so sa toast naman is ah uh, sa toast dito na laman kung sino yung ah uh, uh, yung toast dito dito na referee at saka ng team captain ng both na ano team, team captain ng ano, both team at saka dito nga uh, parang yung nagpupuntaan sila kung saan side yung pipiliin nila tapos kung sila po ano yung unang harap yun yung magdidesign kung sila ba yung mag-serve o hindi so next naman is team, team, team starting magsisimula yung laro uh, kapag uh, pag isimula yung laro, yung mga players is kailangan ano, mag-line uh, mag up mag-line up sa labas at sa linya ng kanilang court Next naman is position So di ba yung ano, sa, sa loob ng court, meron si merong anong na member every ano, every team So yung position naman nila is tapo yung saunahan, tapo din yung sa likod So bali merong uh, front, yung front left, front uh, center front, uh, right, tapos gano'n din yung sa likod. Yun yung, yung, yun yung sa position. So, number 10 naman yung rotation and the uh, rotation na hold. So, sa dito naman yung, yung rotation na is, is when the receiving team scored. Kapag yung, uh, yung nag-receive ng bola, ay nag, uh, nag-gagawa ng, nag, nag-score dahil siguro sa mga mistake na pag-serve ng kabilang ano, kabilang team magkakot sila ng clockwise and also ganun din naman yung sa kabila so, na, next naman is ball and play yung ball and play naman ito yung uh, when a ball is hit when the ball hit of the service authorized by the first referee so ibig sabihin but uh, tinatawag na ball and play kapag once na yung referee is nauna siyang mag-bizzle bago, bago nag, bago, ah, uh, bago, ah, uh, tirahin ng ano ng player yung bola. So yung ball out of play naman is kapag
pag hindi pa nag-base na yung ano yung referral pero uh, pinaano na na yung para tinamaan na ng kamay ang bola ah uh, hindi tinamaan tinamaan na ng players yung bola ito yung it, yun yung tinatawag na ball out play so next na hindi ball in ball in and ball out so, yung ball in naman is kapag yung bola ay na tumama siya sa in court sa in court o di kaya sa linya, yun yung pinatawag na ball in. Pero kapag yung ball out naman, ito yung bola na uh, na na-touch sa floor pero kalabas na record, yun yung ball out. So yung team hits naman, ito yung uh, each member has only three hits. So kailangan sa, sa team na yun, tatlong best lang nila tirahin yung bola. Katalay na dun yung uh, pag-block at saka yung pagbalik ng bola sa team nila. Next is consecutive and stimulus contact. Dito naman is matatawag natin na consecutive contact yung isa yung yung isang ano pag perform ng player kapag yung kapag dalawang beses na pinamaan ng player yung bola. Pero yung isa naman is yung simultaneous naman is kahit dalawa or dalawang player yung nakatamaan ng bola yung pag ano pag bilang ng tom pedro ng isa isang ano sa one hit lamang hindi siya katulad ng consecutive na na uh, yung consecutive is isang tao lang siya pero dalawang beses na niya pinamahan ng bola so sa lahat naman is ball touching the net so dito naman may possibility na habang naglalaro kapag kapag yung bola ah uh, na uh, tumama sa net may possibility na ipa ipa uro o di kaya i-replay ulit yung laro kasi i-replay ko rin ang laro yun yung ball touching ball touching the net so next next naman is reaching beyond and penetrating the net so dito naman is bawal uh, bawalan hawakan ng kabilang ano kabilang team yung bola habang nandun pa sa part ng kabila so once na once na hawakan ng uh, kabilang team yung bola na hindi naman pumunta pa sa ano nila sa court nila may posibilidad na uh, yung score doon sa kabila hindi sa kanila yung sa naghawak ng bola so yung preserving post naman dito naman is yung ano yung pag uh, pag score sa kabilang team sa receive team ay sa kanilang serving sa kanilang serving team kasi yung serving yung serving post ito yung pag-serve niya pero hindi pumasok sa kabilang court. Next naman is restriction of the attack. So dito naman is may yung patas dito is kailangan yung nasa front row lang yung kailangan mag uh, mag-retain ng bola at sila yung parang uh, itutuong sila yung ano yung bola tapos yung mag-spike yung mga attack naman yung nasa likod yun yung restriction of data. So next naman is blocking within the opponent. So yung next, dito naman is uh, yung team ay mag- uh, yung nasa harap, sila yung uh, mag-block ng bola kapag once na yung kabilang team ay mag-attack or di kaya mag-inspire. Sila yung, uh, yung parang sila yung nasalot ng bola yung para yung bola ay hindi mapunta sa kanila doon pa din na nag, ano, nagbigay na nag-attack uh, ng bola. So next naman is time out and physical time out. So sa team naman, yung every team, meron sila um, uh, meron silang rules na only dalawang time out lang every 30 seconds. Yun yung ano yung rules nila sa so, so 30 seconds, isang time out tapos next naman yung isang time out. Depende yun sa coach kung kailan yun, uh, kaya kung kailan lang kaya ibigay yung mga ano yun, yung, yung mga Uh, time out na may parang doon sa kanyang team. So doon naman is substitution. Yung sa substitution naman is yung about to share sa pagkala, pagpalit ng mga players, kapag siguro mga ano na yung mga about to share players, ganun. Yung substitution naman is kaya na yung pwede palitan ng isa or dalawang ano, player, yung uh, da, isa or dalawang player, kahit lang ano lang yung at a time lang in that time. Pwede sila makapagpalit ng dalaw, isa o dalawang ano, player. So next naman is terminology. In terminology, ito yung terminology of this topic. So ibig sabihin, ito yung uh, karamihan ng malabas sa topic na, na ito ngayon. 
So, yung una, A. Anong bounds ni Galtar that the opponent cannot return resulting in a point for the serving team? So, next naman is Antina, the vertical road along the outside edge of the sideline. Next is Assess, passing or hitting ball to the squatting mate to attack the ball for, for a kill. So, na naman si Tata, uh, the offensive action of hitting the ball the floor on the opponent, opponent side. Next is attack line. A line 3 meters from the, from the net that separates from, uh, from the front row player from the back row player. So next one is block. Block a defensive play by one or more, one or more players may connect with them as five points. Next is bump pass. The use of, the use of joint forearms to pass or set a ball in an underhand manner. So next one is center line. The line directly under, under the net that divides the court into two. Yung gig is passing a spike or rapidly hit ball. The art of retrieving an attack ball goes to the floor. So next one is D. Also a tip, a legal push of the ball around the around or over blockers. You go to the man with a third bit with no spin that will follow an erratic pass. So next, four arm pass. A pass in which the players are joined from the elbow to the wrist, wrist forming a pass. Or to hit, or to hit the ball in an underhand motion. So next one is foul. Foul is a violation of the, of the road. Next, jump serve. A serve in which the server runs the jump high to serve. Next is off speed hit. If the off speed hit naman is a ball loses power or quickly because it, it, it was not with less than its usual for less. So yung next is overhand pass. Overhand pass a pass made with a both hand open to roll by, by the finger. With the player space below the, the ball. So next is uh, overhand over overhand third. A third made is which a player strike the ball with his or her hand above the above the shoulder. So next one is pass. The first hit which is aimed to the setter. So next is reading position. Reading position. The flex here is comfortable to ensure a player has shown before moving to the point of the map. Next is rotation. The clockwise movement of players around the park, the, around the court, and the kind of observing position following a side out. Next is third. One of the third, one of the six basic manual skills that puts the basketball into play. So next one is step. The typical in which a ball is directed to a point where a player can spike it into an opponent's court. So, next one is tied out. Of course, when the receiving team successfully takes the ball away against the serving team, or, or when the serving team commits or reports their error, the receiving team does not gain the right to serve. Next is spike. A, a ball contacted is forced by a player on the offensive team, with the intent of terminal, uh, the ball on the opponent's floor or of the opponent's locker. So the last one is volley, an overhand pass or set. So in this uh, in this chapter, na uh, tinuto ko dito, ito yung bago rules na pinalabas ng ano simula pa sa 2009 hanggang 2012. So which means mayroong rules dito na bago at mayroon din naman hindi nagdagdag nila sa lumang uh, road. So that's all for today. Thank you. Thank So, ayun po, ayun po ang aming report about sa uh, uh, topic na rin yung topic, which is volleyball. Maraming uh, salamat po. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.